Hello mga Matthusiast! Welcome back sa ating YouTube channel kung saan ang mat ay mas pinadadali at mas minamahal. For today's video, eto na yung part 2 ng inyong learning task number 2 about problem solving involving radical equations. And possibly the last video for our second quarter. Wow! I am very proud of you kasi natapos na natin ang module natin or ang module natin for the second quarter ng magkakasama at ng masaya. Pero bago ko simulan ang video na ito, siguraduhin na munang napindot nyo na dyan ang like button. Sana na sanay na kayo na tuwing i-click nyo yung mga videos ko, pinipindot nyo na agad yung like button ha. At syempre, kung bago ka pa lang sa aming YouTube channel, pindutin mo na rin dyan ang subscribe button. At i-hit mo na rin ang notification bell para lagi tayong masaya. <laughs> Hindi, para lagi kang updated sa mga videos na i-upload ko. Joke lang yun ha, masaya lang si Teacher Maria kasi andito na tayo sa end ng ating second quarter. At syempre, ibang subject na yung haharapin nyo para sa mga one month lang ang math. Pero para sa... Ah, uh, 2 months yung naging month nila. Magkita-kita ulit tayo agad-agad kasi third quarter naman na. Okay, so let's start. For number 6, find the side of the square if the area is 81 meters squared. Alam naman natin, ang square ay pareho ang measurement ng each side. At ang area niya ay equal kay S squared, di ba? So, dahil ang A natin ay equals kay 81, ano ngayon yung ating mga side? So, uh, i-perform na natin. Ang side natin ay hindi natin alam. So, that is X squared kasi yung formula niya, eto. And then, we have their 81. To solve for X, you have to get the square root. So, that eto makakancel. Ang matitira na lang ay X. Equals to, what is the square root of 81? We have 9. Principal root lang ha, kasi baka mamaya tinatanong nyo ako, Ma'am, di ba pwede naman positive and negative 9? Pero since measurement ang hinahanap natin, walang negative na measurement ha, positive. So, you have your x equals to 9. Okay, etong number 7, medyo ano ha, complicated. Onting-onti lang naman. O, okay, discuss ko. The shorter leg of a right triangle is one half the longer leg, and the hypotenuse is three centimeters. How long is each leg of the triangle? Na alala nyo yung inexplain ko sa inyo pa paano ba magtranslate ng problem solving, di ba? Kung ano yung hindi din describe siya yung x. So the shorter leg. Of a right triangle, ibig sabihin, ang diniscuss dito or ang diniscribe si shorter leg. So, ang longer leg natin, siya ngayon si X. O, ito yung longer ha. And then, mukha lang longer ito. Paano ba? Ayusin ko ba yung drawing? O, teka, ayusin na nga natin yung drawing. Baka awayin nyo ako. Ma'am, sabi mo longer yan. Di naman halatang longer. O, ayan. O, oh, ayan na, pagpasensya ng drawing triangle yan. So, our longer leg is X kasi siya yung hindi din inscribe. O, paano naman ngayon ginamit yung longer leg para sa shorter leg? The shorter leg of a right triangle is half of the longer leg. So, ang longer leg ay X, ang shorter leg natin ay X over 2. Now, the hypotenuse is 3. How long is each leg? Since ito ay right triangle, ang formula natin to identify the sides of the triangle is A squared plus B squared equals C squared. Wherein A is our altitude, B is our uh, base, and C is our hypotenuse. Having that, is a substitute lang natin ito. So, you have here altitude x. And then, x squared na siya kasi naka-square. Diba? So, our base is plus x over 2. And then, you square it. And our c is 3. And then, i-perform natin ito. Magiging x squared plus. O, distribute nyo tong exponent ha. You will have your x squared or x raised to 2. And then, 2 squared is 4. 
equals to, eto naka-square ito ha, C squared. So, 3 times 3, you have 9. And then, ikaw combine natin to anong LCD? Ito ay over 1, so you have here 4. 4 divided by 1 is 4 times x squared is 4x squared. Plus, 4 divided by 4, you have 1, excuse me, times x squared, you have x squared equals to 9. So, what is 4x squared plus x squared? You have 5x squared over 4. Nabubulol ako ah. Equals to 9. Okay. So, para masolve yan, you have to do... Eka lang ha. Ito ay enter ko lang. Kailangan natin ng malaking space. Okay. You have to do yung over 1 ito and then you cross multiply. So, 5 times x raised to 2 times 1 is 5x raised to 2. Equals to 4 times 9 is 36. Okay, para iyan ay masimplify, you have to divide it by 5. Okay, what will remain here is x raised to 2 equals to 36 over 5. And then, para makatanggal yung squared dito, diba, you have to extract the roots. So, you have this one. So, you will have here x equals to, ano ang square root ng 36? 6. Ano ang square root ng 5? Wala. So, square root of 5 lang siya. Pero kung matatandaan ninyo, bawal magkaroon ng radical sign sa denominator. Para matanggal natin ito, we have to rationalize. Ha? So, you will have your x is equal to 6 over square root of 5. Ito times natin siya by ano? Para matanggal natin yung radical sign. By... Square root of 5, correct. Okay, so you will have here 6 is square root of 5 kasi ito times mo sila and then you have square root of 25. 5 times 5, diba? 25. And then you will have your 6 is square root of 5 over what is the square root of 25? 5. Okay, so hindi na ito masisimplify. Okay na to, Ito na yung x mo. At yung x mo, siya yung longer leg. Ang tanong kasi natin ay, how long is each leg? So, isang leg pa lang ang meron tayo. Kunin natin yung isa pang leg, yung shorter leg. Alam natin na ang shorter leg ay x over 2, ba? At ang x natin ay, eto, 6 square root of 5 over 5. Over 2. Pag tayo ay nagdi-divide, di ba ang ginagawa natin kung whole number siya, i-reciprocal natin siya. Ang reciprocal nito ay 1 half. Tapos ang operation na multiplication. So, you will have your 6 square root of 5 over 5 times 1 half na ito. Kaya ito ay magiging 6 square root of 5 over 5 times 2 is 10. And then, i-lowest term natin, this will become 3 square root of 5 over 5. Ayan na ang sagot. Okay? Mukha lang mahirap, no? Pero medyo madali lang naman. Mara marami lang yung procedure or mahaba lang yung pro procedure natin. Okay, for number 8, 7 times the square root of a number is 7. Okay, so, yung square root of a number daw natin, which is we do not know, it times daw natin kay 7, equals yan kay 7. So, kailangan natin isolve si x. So, para masolve yan, you just have to divide it by 7 para makancel ito. Ang matitira na lang dito ay square root of x. And then, 7 divided by 7 is 1. And then, para matanggal yung square root, you just have to square it. And then, cancel ito. Ang matitira ay x equals 1. Okay, so that's the answer. For number 9, the cube root of a number decreased by 7 is 0. So, ang cube root lang, da ang cube root lang, ang cube root daw ng number, so x, at ang cube root niya, kasi hindi nga natin alam, kaya x ha, bawasan ko daw ng 7, ang sagot daw dyan ay 0. To solve for this, ilipat lang ito, so you will have here the cube root of x equals to from negative, magiging positive na siya. And then, dahil cube root ito, para matanggal natin yan, you just have to raise it to 3. Cancel na to ang matitira na lang dito ay x. Now, what is 7 times 7 times 7? 7 times 7 is 49 times 7 is what? 
So, 49 times 7 is 63. Carry 6, 28 plus 6 is 24. So, you will have here 243 as the answer. Ang dadali naman pala nitong nandito sa problem solving nyo eh. Kay talaga. Hindi nyo lang tinry muna. O, oh, ito ay daha na delete. Okay, now we have here the square root. Ah, the square root of the cube root of a number is 3. Hala, the square root of the cube root of a number is 3. So, eto, may a number tayo. Yung cube root daw niya, ayan, na in square root ay equals kay 3. Okay, ha? Tingnan natin na the square root of the cube root. So, yung square root ng cube root niya, I equals kay 3. So, paano natin isosolve to? Kung titingnan nyo, alam ma, ano ba yan? Dalawa-dalawa pa yung radical sign. Parang ang hirap naman yan. O, kasi, na-judge na. O, wag natin i-judge. Bigyan natin siya ng chance. O, dahil ito ay square root, para matagal yung square root, alam naman natin, i-square lang natin. ba? Ang matitira na lang dito, dahil maka-cancel ito, ay cube root of a number. And then, this will become 3 squared 9. O, para matanggal natin yung cube root dito, eh, di erase din natin siya by 3. Erase din natin ito by 3. I-cancel natin ito. Ang matitira ay x equals to what is 9 times 9 times 9. 9 times 9 is 81 times 9. So, we have here 81 times 9. 9 and then 72. O, 729. Ayan na yung sagot. O, Wala naman pa, palang kwenta yung mga radical sign natin. Sisiw na sisiw. So, ayan na. Natapos na natin ang problem solving ng inyong module for the second quarter. At masaya ako na nakasama nga ninyo ako sa journey nitong ating uh, second quarter. Kaya, mga anak, kung kayo ay may natutunan sa pagsasama natin, i-comment nyo dyan, ha, sa ating comment section. At syempre, bisitahin nyo naman ang ating uh, Facebook page Maria Matic. Sige na, pagbigyan nyo na ako, i-follow nyo na rin siya, okay? So, Kita, kita ulit tayo sa third quarter. Let's spread the love of math. Thank you and bye!